Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I decided to try a new store and do a haul for you guys. I have never bought anything from Loft. Heard a lot of people talk about it, seen a lot of cute clothes that other people have worn, but I personally have never bought anything. It's always like kind of scary trying a new store just because you don't know how their sizes are going to work and then what's their return process like and it's just like a big hassle but I decided with like being home all the time that I needed something a little new <laughs> in my life so I decided to get some new clothes from a new store. So Loft. I I'm excited to try on everything and I'm really interested in seeing how everything fits. My main concern is that similar to Lane Bryant, they do their sizes in like groupings. So it'll be like a 2022 20, is one size and then the next size is a 24, 26. Being a size 22, it kind of makes me nervous just because you know, is a 2022 going to be on the 20-ish side or more on the 22 side? I hate when stores do that. I don't know, but whatever. Hopefully they all fit and I find some new stuff that I like. I tried to get some pretty colors, stuff that I don't normally see. Um, kind of basics though too, but just in unique colors, I think would be the best way to put it. I think my other hesitation with purchasing from Loft is that their clothes can be kind of expensive. I know the quality is there, but you know, sometimes, especially when you're trying a new brand, like I said, you're not really willing to spend all that money up front. The reason that I did it this time is they were having like a 40 or 50 something percent off, possibly 60 when I purchased all these clothes. So keep that in mind because I'm going to be telling you the prices um, that these are the sale prices. I can't find the original prices. So just keep that in mind when you're watching. Okay. I'm excited to show you guys what I got. And while you're here, make sure that you like the video, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notified every time that I post a video and I can't thank you guys enough for the support. And with that, let us get to the haul. The first thing that you're gonna see me try on is actually two things that I paired together to be an outfit. Uh, these are cargo pants, um, kind of a loose interpretation of cargo pants, but I thought that they were kind of cool. They have a paper bag waist, loving it, digging it, super in right now, as well as a belt, um, which is necessary because they were definitely pretty stretchy. Um, they fit fine, but without that belt, I could definitely see it falling. Uh, they do have little belt loops, which is nice. Um, there's no butt pockets or anything, but it does have these cool functioning, as cargo pants do, side pockets with a little gold accent. Um, I liked the length of these. I think they were a little bit long, but I'm like five foot, so I was really impressed with the length and they weren't too long. I think the point of these was that they were supposed to be a crop. So they were not really a crop on me, but I still, I really liked the material. I would say it's kind of like a linen. Let me see if I can find out what it is for you guys. 90% rayon, 10% nylon. Felt like linen, but I liked these. Good quality for sure. Um, and what I did was I paired them with this really, really pretty floral, like bubble sleeve sweater. Um, I love all the bright colors, like that blue and the pinks and the oranges. I mean, it's just screaming spring. So instantly I just had to have it. I love the sleeves. Um, they have like a little cuff, which is really nice. Do keep in mind though, um, my hesitation with this is that the sleeves right here, this doesn't have any stretch. It is what it is. Um, I got this in a 2022 and I was really impressed um, with the fit. I think it was really generous. But that being said, if you're a size 20, I feel like it would be big on you. So just keep that in mind. But as a 22, I'm really happy about it. Um, I didn't even tell you guys how much the pants cost. So let's get to that. And I got the pants in a 22. The pants are, where are you? 
All right, so I got these for $34.75. So double that would be the original price at least. And this top, again, I got this one on sale as well. And this is a garden puff sleeve that I got for $29.75. I think on sale, that's a good price. Would I pay double that? I don't think so. Yeah, that would be a lot. Like this is a $60 shirt. That's a lot of money. But for a $30 shirt, yeah, I'm totally here for it. So good outfit, good pieces. Let's move on. The next thing that I'm showing you guys, I wore with the rest of the shirts that I have coming up. Uh, these are a pair of button fly cropped uh, black jeans. Um, I really wanted a pair of button fly black jeans. I don't know why, I've just like been really into button fly lately. It's just cool, it just seems vintage. I don't know, I like it. I do like that the buttons have loft on them. I think that's like super cute. I didn't really notice that when I was trying it on, but right now, super cute. Um, I got these in a 22. I don't think that they, that it came in like short, tall, whatever, um, but they are technically supposed to be cropped on me, obviously not quite so much. But I, another thing that really drew me in was the bottom. I love the destruction that it has down here. Super stretchy. My complaint about this though, is that I want them to be skinny. Like they're quite loose around the ankle, which was a kind of unfortunate. Um, that aside, I probably would have kept them except around the pooch area, you know what I'm talking about? Like right under the gut, there was a lot of excess room for me. I tend to have those problems a lot. Um, like I said, this is my first time trying loft. So maybe this is just how their jeans are. I don't know. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments if that's generally how they fit. Um, it's great if you have like, you know, a larger gut or whatever going on down there. But, you know, I don't really think I have a small gut, but for whatever reason, I find that I often have a lot of room in that specific area. Lane Bryant jeans, same thing. I can't really buy their jeans because of that like pooch area. But if that is an area that you think you usually need a lot more room in, these are a great pair of pants for that. Um, they're super high waisted. The waist itself, definitely true to size. Fit perfectly, no complaints there. They're a good pair of jeans. It's just the pooch, can't do it. And I got these for $39.75 on sale. So I think usually they would be double that. This next shirt, I absolutely love. Um, I kind of want to say that it's like a cropped peplum. You can kind of see down here, it has like the elastic and then it flows out, which is really nice. It's not quite an off the shoulder. Like if you pulled it down, it would definitely like come back up, but it's just so cute. And it has like these little, I don't know what to call them, like peasanty sleeves, I would say, with this little elastic here. And usually I hate elastic on sleeves, but there's so much room and this material is so light and flowy. And I just love this color. It's like this gorgeous, like baby nursery pink that you'd think would be gross, but I, I really don't own like a lot of stuff in this color. And I love the material. Like I said, so soft and stretchy. It is just had you 58% cotton 41% polyester and 1% spandex so that literally explains everything I got this in a size 2022 and again like incredibly generous if I was a size 20 it would be too big point blank it would be too big so keep that in mind if you're kind of looking at lofts clothes thinking hmm can I fit into that you can, but it might be too big and you'd probably want to size down a size in this. So if you're a size 20, I'd get a 16, 18, just saying, but I love this shirt. I'm definitely keeping it and I'm definitely wearing it for spring. And before I forget the price on this one, it's a textured cinched waist top and it is $19.75 on sale. Next item that's up that I love is this seafoam, seafoam, <laughs> seafoam green halter top. Um, I love the top of this. I just think it's so interesting. It's kind of like an elevated basic. So like I said, I just love the color and I love the way that the top looks. If you can look and see, it has these like, just really interesting like line work details, which is just super cool and unique for a basic halter top. 
Uh, again, I got this in a 2022. Fit absolutely perfectly. There's no like poofage that happens around the boobs, which is generally an issue whenever you buy a tank top as someone with boobs at all. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I just love the color and it's so soft. I love the length. You could tuck it in or it's long enough to cover honestly your butt and your tummy if that's the route you want to go. You could really wear this in so many different ways and I think it is a staple. It is, yeah, the halter outfit making tank and I got this for $9.75. Even at $20, I would honestly buy this. It's really soft, really comfortable, cool colors. It came in a bunch of different colors and I really liked them. Uh, but this is the one I went with and yeah, no complaints about this tank top. It's good stuff. So I misspoke. This is sea green, not sea foam. The next item is sea foam. I don't know my colors. What else is new? <laughs> okay, so looking at it now, yes, this is clearly the sea foam top and not the sea green top. Who knew there were so many different oceanic greens. Anyway, this is a tank top that I thought would be kind of peplum-y. Um, it's called a tiered ruffle shell top. Um, I got it for $24.75 and I got it in a 22. I honestly think it was way too big and way too long. I probably could have sized down at least to a 20 or an 18, depending on how I wanted it to fit. Um, I like the idea of these ruffles. I really, really do. I just thought that where they hit me on my body made me look not well, it, didn't, it didn't do like anything for me. Uh, the color is really nice. I love the way that the top part fit, like the boobs and stuff. Like again, no gapage on the side, which is really rare and hard to find. I like these little like, what are these? It's like darting or divot points or whatever. I just really do like that. I think it just adds a little bit of emphasis and it's a nice shirt. I just, it's it, it was big. It was big and long and <laughs> I just, you know, I recommend if you want to get this, depending on how you want it to fit, size down at least once or twice. But the color is gorgeous and it's really good for spring. All right, so that was everything that I got in my loft haul. Like I said, no real complaints, just because, you know, I didn't really like everything. It really gave me a good idea of how to shop loft in the future. Um, their jeans fit me, just didn't fit me how I wanted. So maybe a different style of jean would be cool. I don't know, you guys have to let me know how you guys shop at Loft. Are you, you know, are you really aware of how their sizing works? Like that seafoam green tank top with all the ruffles, like that was huge on me. But you know, all the 2022 items fit me perfectly. So, you know, just let me know in the comments how you guys navigate Loft's clothing because I'm interested. Their clothes are really cute. They often have really good sales. Like for all of those items, I spent $168 and that includes shipping. Um, everything, like I said, was 50 or 60% off, which is pretty good. Like I'd pay those prices. I don't know if I'd shop loft at full price. I don't know if I'd shop anywhere <laughs> at full price, but loft is definitely a little bit pricey. Um, the quality is definitely there. I think they have some unique pieces and it's a little bit on the preppy side, but I don't really mind. I like having variety. Um, I like Loft. I will shop there again. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me, whether it be on YouTube or on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, make sure you follow me there so I can hang out with you guys, chat more, and get a better idea of what kind of content you guys want. Uh, it is Make It Katie, and it's also linked below in the description. Also in the description, I'm going to link all these clothes for you that I tried on as long as they're still available for you to look at and buy. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, like I said before, and hit the bell. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.